Hey farm fans, welcome back to Farm Boy Reef. So today we're gonna end up, uh, we're gonna paint the piping. Hey farm fans, Farm Boy Reef here, welcome back. Hey farm fans. Hey farm fans, Farm Boy Reef here. So we're on episode two of uh, the Superman uh, build. Um, the last episode we watched, uh, we did all the plumbing for it, checked out some of the equipment. So I have uh, the plumbing right here, it's all in one piece. I taped off what I didn't want to do. So I want to show you how you can just take PVC, sand it all down, and you can use some Painter's Touch uh, High Gloss. This is for uh, PVC, plastic, metal, everything. And it'll adhere very well to it, but first we have to get it all prepped up. What we have to do is uh, sand off any, like if there's stickers, rip off, make sure your stickers are off, and just sand off all the excess glue and make it really nice. So I just got a piece of uh, uh, sandpaper here, and then we just, we sand everything all down nice, nice and clean to get it all prepped for paint. So it's very easy. Like you can end up, you can buy uh, colored PVC from all your local uh, like Balford Supply, any of those stores online, and uh, so you don't even have to do this. But this is just such a small tank. It's such a small piece. I'm just going like a little bit of the extra effort here. I could have just done it all in uh, like rubber piping or some flex and stuff. But I want it to make it look good, so just 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 get that paint and it'll stay on there for, forever. It's not gonna hurt anything, and uh, you're good. So just. Take all the shine off of here, any of the excess glue, and then we're gonna start, start uh, painting this all up to make it look really nice. And then we can get it back in the tank. So it's pretty simple, just take a little bit extra time and just go around and get all the glue off. Just come along there nice now. And, so, and any, st any stickers you can peel off. For some reason the companies are obsessed with putting stickers on plastic that's very difficult to get off and I don't know why they do that. But just take your time. Use like an acetone or something to take all the stickers off. So you guys see it's coming along good, getting rid of a lot of the glue smudges that are on there. It's a lot easier if you just take your time and try not to. But I just use a rag and sometimes the rag just uh, gets covered up too much. So you can feel it's got a little bit of its abrasive to it now. It'll definitely, uh, paint will stick to it nicely. So I'm just going to probably give it like two, three coats. What I did is I just got some tape and I taped these knobs off. which is actually red and electrical tape, you can't really tell. But, uh, Get a rag and wipe that down and uh, you're good to go. So you can see there, it's all cleaned up perfectly. So, dust some paint, make sure you're doing the well ventilated area. And we're gonna give it its first coat and then let it dry and give it a couple more. Would've been good if I could have hung it up, but this is what we dealt with. So I'm just gonna give it a fine mist at the start here. Let that dry and then we can do a few more coats. I'm just holding it by on by its tape. All right, farm hands, so we'll let that dry and then uh, we'll give it another coat. Here, right, farm hands, so I got all the rest of the coats on the pipe. As you can see, it's dry. Um, what I want to do now is go get this all installed in the Superman tank. So this, this uh, paint's really easy to use, guys. It's just a painter's touch. This one's a high gloss. You get Home Depot, Home Hardware, it's about $8. And anybody can do this, so look at that. 
looks perfect. So let's go ahead now, let's head back to the tank, let's get this installed. Hey farmhands, so we're back here at the Superman tank. I got the piece of uh, pipe that's all painted up. I ended up putting into the, the Tunsey pump. As you guys see, it turned out pretty good. I got a couple little touch-ups to do just around the valve. I'll just end up just painting that on, but looks pretty good. So what we need to do is uh, glue this into place, and then we're gonna plumb uh, the Deltec reactor onto here, get everything installed, and then put uh, the drain pipe as well. So let's go ahead and do all that. All right guys, so I got the plumbing all put in here. Just if you guys see around this valve, I gotta do a little bit more orange paint because when I did the paint to cover up the, the knob, it ended up missing a little bit. But there you go, so I got the skimmer in, we got all the piping in coming down. Um, I got There's the pump right there, just put a piece of foam under it in case any little vibration. And uh, we're good to go. So now we have to do is place the Deltec over in the corner hook the plumbing up to that and we're on our way and then I'm just gonna be gonna get a tooth, just uh, a brush and just brush on any of those little white spots and probably do those two brown couplings up there and get everything to match so it's coming along really nice can't complain all right farmhand so next thing I have a uh, got a small heater here we're gonna install it comes with uh, the little sticky pads with the clamps so I think I'm just gonna stick it on the side for now and get that installed and then we have the ATO we're going to do on a later date but we're getting very close so now all I have to do is start getting uh, do the aquascaping and then uh, get the sand in there and then we get some water mixed up we're good to go so I'm gonna go ahead now I'm gonna install the heater all right so I end up installing that heater right down and behind everything tucked away so the wires are all pretty much neat I'm just gonna zip tie those a little bit hide them in the back but it's coming along very nicely nice and clean looking good so next thing I want to do is just want to finish uh, touch-ups here on the white so it's not as noticeable anymore all right so I just gave those a little bit of touch-up I just grabbed a q-tip and I sprayed some orange paint in here and just did the touch-up around the valves as you can see it's orange once again everything's looking pretty seamless uh, I'll probably just give those a couple more coats so it all blends in together but so there we go guys so we got our Tunzi skimmer we got our Deltec reactor we're probably gonna run either Roa and carbon at the same time or make that into a Cheeto reactor with some LEDs um, we got our valves so we can adjust the flow to each one because if we want more flow going to the main display we got this one and if we want more flow going to the Deltec reactor we have this one and then we have our drain coming from our tank down to the sump I have it going at the back on an angle so it'll create like a swirling motion in here if they need detritus or anything gets locked down in the bottom you get floated up hopefully into the skimmer so that's the plan guys and we've got the heater in the back and then I put a little piece of foam on the bottom in case of any vibration we're good to go so can't complain about that so that's the plumbing install so far so all you have to do is put the, the ATO in here that'll be another time we'll get that all hooked up and then we have to put a ATO for RO water so it can fill up if anything evaporates Right front hand. So that's uh, this week's episode. We got the plumbing all done. We installed it. We got the skimmer. We got the Deltec reactor. We got the heater. Everything's going on in there. And then we're going to end up uh, getting the ATO installed eventually as well. And then in the upcoming episodes, we have to get the do the aquascape. I got Marco's Rock. We got some E400 that we're going to bond that all together. And then we're going to put a nice sand bed in the bottom. Always important to get that rock in first. And then um, we get the D and D H2 Ocean Salt all mixed up in there and try to test all our parameters and then start adding some bacteria and start the cycle on the, the Superman tank. So thanks for tuning in this week guys, I really appreciate it. If you guys could uh, subscribe and hit that button, that'd be awesome. So please subscribe and hit that like button.